Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to uh, East Rockaway High School. Welcome to our school district. I'm just going to very, very briefly um, let you know how this will work. Um, we're very, very excited to have all of you here. And please understand, this is the hardest for, for me and for us. It's our, the hardest job we do. We would love to give everyone a space. Um, but as you know, this is a um, federally funded program. And the district was given uh, a certain amount of money that actually funds um, 26 students free for pre-kindergarten. So we have one class in each building and we started it this year. And um, we do have scope educational services that we've contracted with who runs the program. Program's done, done really well this year. And because um, we were allowed to have a maximum of 18 students in a class, and that was really the contractual requirement for scope was to run a class with 18 students, district funded three um, additional spots per class. So instead of, um, I'm sorry, two in each class. So instead of 13 in each class, we have, we funded um, 15. So instead of 13, there's 15 students in each class. And then there's the opportunity for any family who was not selected to self pay through scope and have their child attend the program on a tuition basis. And the district does not collect any money. We're not allowed to do that, but scope can do that as the um, community-based um, organization or provider so that the maximum number of students in the class is 18 students with one certified teacher and one teaching assistant. And the programs run very well that way. Um, we do maintain a wait list and we have had a number of people, right? Um, Neri, this is um, Nareda Amaya Moran, who um, is the very, very competent and um, hardworking behind the scenes person uh, who put this all together. And um, 53, uh, but this year we had a wait list and we had a number of people who were able to get in to the class, six. So if you're not selected today, there is a possibility that somebody moves, somebody changes their mind um, for whatever reason, and then we will um, go through the wait list. So we will keep picking names until all the names are chosen in the event that um, someone opts to not take their spot. So you will see this um, drawing will continue for all 53 names that we have. And we are required by law to keep a wait list and consult the wait list and go in order. Um, and again, if somebody has made plans already and they've paid and they um, their name is picked on the wait list, we will go to the next person and further on and on. This year we had a family move in the middle of the year, January or February, and so somebody got a spot um, that late in the year. So um, it is viable. We wish that we had enough space for every single pre-K student in the community. But as I said, this is federally funded. Um, it is possible that in the future, the funding will be expanded. We've been told that in the coming years uh, that may happen. Um, obviously that doesn't help those of you that are here today, but if you are planning on having more children, it might help you then at that point in time. Um, so let's see. We will try to place you, those of you that are selected, uh, we will try to place you in your catchment area. This year it worked out beautifully. We had um, 30 spots, 15 in each building, and we had 15 in the Rame area and 15 in the Center Avenue. So everybody got to go to their home school. It may not work out that way, but you still will be getting a free spot, of course, if you choose not to get it. And again, those placements will be made in the order that they were selected as well. So um, Mrs. Um, Amaya Marem knows which, uh, which is your home school and we will place you accordingly, according to how your name has been selected, if selected. So it is all random and we do have a very strict process that we follow because we want to be fair. So um, let me see. You will, if you're watching at home or if you're here today, you will know right away if your child's name is called that you are accepted into the program free of charge. When we get to number 30, we'll keep going. And then we will offer the program um, to anyone who is interested on a for fee basis. And the fee for that program 
will be $55,600 for the year. And that still is a good price compared to what some other nursery schools are or pre-K programs because it goes from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, lunch is included. Um, all children get free lunch. Um, they have a snack that's provided and they follow the school calendar. So there's actually 180 um, student days that the students go to school. And so it is, it is a good buy. It's a, long, a, a longer program that you than some other programs may offer. But of course, that is up to you if you um, elect um, to pay for those additional slots if they become avail when they become available. Um, so please uh, check your emails today. If you are here, obviously you will know. But again, like we said, sometimes people turn down a spot. So check your email because that is will be our preferred way of communicating with you to let you know. Um, there is a deadline to confirm your enrollment, and that is March 11th. So we need a commitment from you, and we need you to register and fill out the forms by that date uh, in order to hold your spot. And uh, Neri has uh, some of the um, envelopes here with the registration packet and the forms. It will be just like you're registering for kindergarten. So if you have other children, you have to provide all of the same information as if you were registering for the first time. So we will give you that information today. Okay. So with that, um, we'll get started. And I will call the first name. First name is Skylar Kazan. Okay. Next, Madison Clark. Christopher Gianessis. Aria Ruhan. William Wilkinson. Ryan Thorpe. Jaya Liu. Jackson Saw, S-A-W-H. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Jeremy Oyagu, Ella McCassie, Ariola Jatishi. Eva Rowe, Connor Cahill, Tristan Dupre, Joseph Bev, I'm sorry, Bevilacqua. Thank you. Alexander Galina Galina. Jesse Muller. Antonio Ippoliti,
Georgia Cooney. Cecilia Doxy. Finn O'Hagan. Michael Miller. Aiden Morano. William Tierney. Colton Lustberg. Salvatore Galante. Talia White. Vincent Bacuza. Cecilia Standish. Logan McCourt. So um, we'll continue um, with the rest of the names for a wait list. And um, again, things can change. Uh, and of course, uh, we'll go down the list if you're interested um, to participate uh, at, on a per fee basis. Adrian Bailey. Arabelize Santiago. Tamara Maurice. Willow Gallagher. Carter Di Chiara. Carlos Hernan Mary. Charles Cooney. Kristen Weber. Kristen, Joanne Weber? Yeah, There's two. Oh. Two different people. Brian Rios. Avery Drevniak. Francis Horn. Akari Tavares. Everly D'Ambrosio.
Amelia Hafiz. Jason Chung. Ready? Ava Gilboy. Rory Evanson. Rob, I'm sorry, Robert Vitaco. Mariella Vasquez. Leandro Romero. Kyle Cacharaba. and Leanne Ferreira. Okay, um, so that concludes the lottery. Um, if you were on the first, one of the first 30 names called, um, please come up, you may come up and pick up a packet. Um, if not, uh, please um, keep checking your email, especially if you're one of the, say, first 10 or so or 12 or so. Um, Mrs. Amaya Moran will be in touch with you to, um, to offer the for pay slots once we work through all of the numbers and we get the packets back by Mar March 11th. Keep that date in mind. Please complete your packet by March 11th um, so you can... Uh, assure your spot. Okay. Thank you very much. Again, welcome to East Rockaway. And we wish that we could accommodate all of you. And thank you for being here. <laughs>